the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. I crawled for almost two miles. <coughs> Barely had any life left in me. Help me. <coughs> Anybody? <coughs> Just trying to make it home. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Tony? Tony? He's fucking missing a near. Move into the house. since I disappeared. I'm not gonna lie, I was in the worst fucking shape of my life. But I was happy to see that I had family there waiting for me. Watch out for the moon, I have more pain. Alright, somebody get some food and water. Go on in, wake up. Come on. There you go, man. Lu Lucifer. Lucifer. Oh, he's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. Let's fucking end him. Yeah, he's the fucking juju who took me. I was out in the woods. Up north. I don't know, a place called Black Forest, I think. Where's... Where's Alfie? Uh, Alfie left with Lucifer, but uh, at this moment they are still friends and they're still rolling together. Most of the time. Johnny, you know how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way people can turn back on the family like that. That's disrespectful. And, um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have that. I need to speak with Alfie. I need to know. Why? I was very upset that what Lucifer told me was true about Alfie. And it would be handled in good time. But for now, I really needed some air. <sighs> are you talking? I don't know. It, it must have... It must have, uh, slowly come back. Oh, jeez. Can't hey. talk much, though. It's not a god, so... That is... That is wonderful. Lucifer. He shot me in the leg. We, we can't let him run around, period. He just needs to straight up die. Somehow I gotta find a way for him to see himself die. I'm gonna make this fucking kid suffer. I took him in. To my home. I treated him as family. We all treated him as family. And he has betrayed us the worst possible fucking way you could betray this family. He's going to have to pay. Um, there's a uh, woman from uh, Astralis that, uh, we found her, I guess you could say. Oh, are you serious? Are you talking about synthesis? Uh, synthesis. Holy yes, shit. yes. Oh uh, my god, where is she? Colt didn't know where she was. She had apparently a big accident, and then mysteriously disappeared. So I had Johnny and everybody else get on that. We needed to find Synthesis. But first, the doc had to do a little checkup, make sure I was alright. Ah, uh, this gonna hurt too. <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, fuck. Alright, there we go. You really did a number on you, huh? You also lost a lot of weight, I can tell. You'll need the rest a few days, but, uh, you'll be as good as new with uh, a missing ear and a broken tooth. But you should be able to move around. They just cut the ear off. Uh, it's going to be sensitive to sound. If uh, anyone's real loud to that side, uh, you yeah. have nothing blocking it. Yeah. Know? I've noticed. So. Your skin seems to be a bit yellow. 
and Doc proceeded to examine me, asked me a lot of odd questions. I also told him about me spitting some blood once in a while. He told me not to worry about anything for now, and left me to rest, but later pulled Johnny aside to talk to him. Uh, Johnny, it's, uh, it's about Tony. Yeah. His, his skin's kind of yellow, and he's, uh, he's lost a lot of weight. I can't be 100% sure now, but uh, it's possibly cancer. Oh, I'm not going to know much oh, until he starts to, starts to heal up a bit from this, but it could be just some fevers, something just odd going on with his body, but I just thought you should know this. I'm not going to tell Tony just yet. He uh, has enough stress on him as, uh, as everything's going on. And the thing we could do now is uh, if you still believe in God, pray. Well, I'm not a religious man, but I'll keep him in my uh, prayers. I recommend he stay in bed for the next few days. Uh, most people in this condition probably be in a coma right now. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Like I said, he's a tough son of a bitch. He'll 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 come around in a couple of days. Right now, he's just a little, uh, you know, just a little indisposed under the weather. Hopefully, he gets better Hopefully. soon. My consigliere Jack the fan needed to talk to me privately. He seemed very concerned. Back in New York, you were, uh, you were, you were actually with the mob, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was. So then, uh, what, uh, what were you? So I can tell right now, you weren't the Don. I'm pretty sure you weren't an underboss, so what were you? Why? To answer the question. I was a soldado. Yeah, I think it was much. What the fuck does that mean? Tony Iris, you're the person... I respect you more than I've respected any other living person. I want to make that exceptionally clear. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the exactly. reason that I'm not still sitting on that fucking rock. I don't like you, I don't like Johnny, and I don't like Blue, and I didn't like Elfie, and I didn't like Lucifer. The only two people in this fucking family that I like, Fultz and the Duck. That was it. Why the fuck don't you like me? Does everybody in this fucking family pretends like they're something they're not? You were a soldado, you come here, all of a sudden you're the Don. We're all different now. This fucking world changes people. And quite obviously, it's doing a number on you right now. Speaking out of your fucking ass. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna sit here and kill people because somebody tells me to. No matter how much I respect them. Ugh, fuck. Listen. I understand where you're coming from. You think I fucking enjoy doing what I did all my life? You think I like killing people? You think I get a thrill out of this shit? I don't. But it's kill to be killed. That's how this shit works. You're gonna go out there alone, Jack. You're gonna end up dead if you don't have people by your side. And you know why? Because you don't kill people. So you're gonna die. Not by me, not by anybody here. You're gonna fucking die because you don't want to kill people. Can't do this shit anymore. So you just want to walk out on this family, on this chance to be with people who could protect yeah. you. You notice what you're giving I don't need up. Fucking protection. You will, Jack. One day you'll fucking come back. You're gonna crawl. You're gonna ask for my help. You will ask for favors. You will. This fucking world is different, man. You've been in there way too fucking long. Your head is clouded. But I'm not gonna stop you. Like I said, we were brothers inside. So I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive. Don't you fuck with me, Jack. You fucking talk. You say one thing about this family out there. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna fucking end you. Of course I could've fucking killed him. But freedom means a lot to me. And Jack earned his. At least he didn't leave me the way Alfie did. After a few days, I rested quite enough, and I was feeling a lot better. During this time, Johnny kept digging for information on Synthesis' whereabouts, and then relayed to us the information he got. Well, I got some radio contact, and uh, then I got, I got two people that came up to me, telling me, giving me this map, showing me where she was, but they wouldn't give me the names. So it kind of sounded a little fishy, but then I got the radio contact. It sounds like a trap, most definitely, but uh, I, I think we can take him. 
Hey, this, this is why this is why we're going there first. I mean, we may not get her out of there right away, but we need to go there and at least check out the goddamn situation. So let's just be very, very careful when we get close to the uh, location. Just be very aware, and please, for God's sakes, keep your radios on once we get close and stay in contact. The place was about six miles away from Pusta, way up north, some old military compound. Not exactly sure how she ended up all the way up there, but apparently she was being held captive by one or many other people. It was our duty to get her out of there safely, so we headed north and didn't stop until we got there. Eyes on one, eyes on, eyes on. Now, I don't know why the fuck I was here. I just recently went through a lot of fucking bullshit, and I put myself into these situations sometimes. Meh, it even baffles me. Uh, he's uh, crouching down, moving. He's looking our way. Uh, white armband. But I'm a hot head motherfucker. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Shot, shot, shot. Is everybody okay? All of a sudden, there was no more visual on this guy. Somehow, he ran away. This is your last chance. All right, all right, get in, get in, get in. All right, I'm okay. holding the wall. Okay. We're not the ones who brought you here. Now stop shooting or you're gonna die. Sounds like Synthesis has a friend that we're both trying to shoot at us, but I don't even fucking know why. I'm, I'm moving it slowly. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Whoever's standing at the stairwell, put your gun down and you will be shot. Three of us here. And there's way more outside. Stop fucking shooting or we're gonna kill you! Turns out Synthesis was a little confused. She thought we were the ones who captured her for some odd reason. I wasn't sure why she didn't recognize me. We, we, we didn't bring you here. Now why the fuck were you shooting at us? Why would two ladies do that? To some gentlemen trying to save you. Listen, Synthesis, look at me. It's me, it's Tony. Look, don't you fucking recognize me? I'm not here to fucking kill you. Johnny, hey, you believe it? Uh, nobody did that. We just fucking got through a big fight. Is this a way to fucking... Jesus Christ. No, stand up, girls. Uh, we're not here to fucking kill you. You can put your hands down. Fucking stand up. It's okay. Listen, okay? Synthesis. We don't have time to fucking explain, okay? But we gotta get you out of here. I don't know why and who the fuck did what to you for you not to remember who I am, who Johnny is right here. Right now we need to go. There was a lot of gunfire over here. Let's go, let's go. If you wanna live, let's go. Luckily nobody got hurt, but whoever was shooting at us outside managed to run away, which meant it was time for us to get the fuck out of there too. <laughs> Guys. Make a perimeter around the trees. Just make sure you're always looking around while I speak to these fine ladies. We're at a safe distance now. This should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Fuck. You okay, boss? I'm okay. Now, Synthesis, uh, I don't understand why you don't know who I am. So, uh, what happened to you? Because this makes no sense to me. She lost the memory. Yeah, she knew all of us in prison. 
Yeah, you were in prison. You were in prison for doing experiments on a lot of people. We tried his best to explain to her who she was and where she was from. Later on, when we were making our way back home, we bumped into Enzo, who told us some Vinny guy was being held captive in his place called Camp Hope, and apparently was looking for me. So we started making our way up there, but we kept running into those dead things on the way. Another one in the okay, bushes okay. here. Okay, we're okay, gonna get okay. surrounded pretty soon, eh, if we don't fucking move out of here. We have everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, let's go. There should be uh, seven heads here. All right. We'll go Enzo's way then. We proceeded to make our way to this Vinny guy. Now, I had no idea who he was, but apparently he knows who I am. So I couldn't wait to get there and find out. No, you're going in that house right there is where you're going. How about this? Me and you, me and you, we're going to have a little sit down. Okay, let's uh, let's make this oh, easy. Yeah? Because I'm not in the mood to fuck around Right now. Walk into right. the fucking house. How about this? Eh, hey, do something about it, you cocksucker. Get the fucking house. Oh, you think I give a fuck? You said you, you would. Get into the house. I'll get into I'll the house. I'll have my crew here in Bob. five minutes. I'll have my Bob. crew here in five minutes. You'll Stay let back me a go. Oh, sure you will. So. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot That's me. Fine. Yeah. Shut the fuck up! Tony? Yeah. Tony. Come with me. Tony. It's fucking oh, Vinny okay. from Brooklyn. Columbo's crew. From Brooklyn, New York. The fuck you doing it? Yeah. Hey, I've been looking for years all over. Hold on. These people got me captured up. I didn't even fucking do anything. Somebody that I was with handcuffed one of these guys, and he had nothing to do with it. It's not me, bud. I didn't fucking do anything wrong. Listen. My beef is not with nobody here. I don't care what the business is with you. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I'm not gonna stop anybody from doing the fucking thing. You know how this kind of business works, right? Vinny. Yeah, but I didn't fucking do anything Yeah, but you're bad-mouthing your fucking mouth all over the place. Why the fuck you doing that? Because they shot me. I wanna be clear with everybody here. They didn't even get me. They didn't even let me explain myself. Jeez, man, you come from a better hey, place I've than been, that. I've been trying to talk to these guys peacefully. This isn't my fault. <laughs> they can't fucking do this. They ain't my fault. I didn't do Listen, anything wrong. Listen, why are you yeah, here? Me, I already had a guy you, sent from Philly. You don't remember me? Yeah, yeah, I know. Who I heard. Columbo and his crew and the families got together. and we. Had to, it, this is business. You already know. The Omerta. You know, you know, your word is bond. You know, I took an oath. Can't betray that oath. I don't know what the fuck you should have been hearing about you. You're not representing yourself pretty good. You understand? I can't have a guy like you around me. Giving me a bad name because we are men of business. This is the New World Mafia, you understand? It's completely shut up. Shut up. Don't you fucking disrespect me. Hold on. I'm talking to you. Okay? Now you give me a second to finish what I need to tell you. This is the New World Mafia. It's completely fucking different from what you're used to this shit back home. You can't go around fucking bitching your mouth all over the place to people you don't fucking know. And the shit I've been hearing right through your radio. I've been hearing this shit. This guy been calling me. And I can hear your fucking mouth in the back. I can't have a guy like you around me fucking up like that. Is that how you're gonna go around? If I take you with me, if I take you out of this fucking predicament, is this how you're gonna fucking act? Eh, hey, no, not at all. Everything was cool, everything was nice and all organized and stuff. They were showing me around, I, I asked them if they needed anything, I offered them supplies, and all of a sudden this guy's pointing a gun in my face, telling me to get on my knees. See me, I am very, very resourceful, and I have lots and lots of people behind me, and not only that, but I have lots of supplies that I can add to the cars. But, first off, I want to get the fuck out of this handcuffs, and I want my gear back. I can't do that right that now, happens, Vinny. I'll take you all to my camp, and you can fucking have whatever you want. Listen, well, you Vinny, can have whatever Vinny, you want. Vinny. I'm just letting. I'm just throwing that on the table. I understand. I need to speak with these men. I need to see what they had to do with you. Scotty, what was it that uh, he told you while you were up in his camp? He said he was the New World Survivor, and he said he was looking for you, and he said that he yeah. knew you. Yeah. Yeah. He, well, the name is wrong. It's the New World yeah, he Mafia. He tied me up and everything. He tied yeah, you so up. Basically, what See, I took from uh, yeah. from what the kid told me, what I took from this was, this guy right here was trying to rip off your little dig that you're going with. I see that. No, no, no. Oh, that wasn't it. Are you fucking kidding me? New World Survivors? No. New World Mafia? New World How fucking similar is that? Eh, that was just a coincidence. And for one thing, I didn't come yeah, up with bullshit. that name. Uh, not, that wasn't my motive. Listen, Vinny. I promise. 
you, you, hold on a second. You have to understand something here. We do things a lot differently like I was telling you. We don't go around robbing people. We don't tie up people for absolutely nothing. I didn't yeah. rob nobody. I never robbed a person in my life. Him. You are with that pendejo! Is it not going through your head? Now before they rip your balls off and make you eat them, you better get in the house. I need to talk with these men. Um, I can't yeah, right. Let's go. You know, yeah. I take care of this kid, right? And I'm just gonna he stumbled around. across this camp killing me. and thought it was, uh, trying to walk thought it was it a off. bright idea to uh, tie my boy up here, this a 14-year-old kid, just yeah. to make sure nothing was going on. He didn't have a gun out. It was really scary. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. You see, this is never how we would do business. Like I said, if you heard me on that radio call, we are men of respect, you know? We're men of business. We, we don't go around doing that. stuff yeah, like this. I get that. Hey, I can't have that kind of behavior happen. Apparently, he said to the kid that he was yeah, acting leader, like he was above you. Like he was above me. <laughs> yeah, he said that he was in charge while you were gone. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. You are for you. Shut up and hey. sit down. He must be a big uh, fan of whatever it is you do back in Brooklyn. I don't know. But one thing's for sure. I could fucking fix this guy. You know, you're gonna just like end him right now. I won't tell him. Well, I mean, I could fix him as well. I mean, a bullet through the brain fixes most problems. It really does. It does the job. I'll say it right to his face. He, he spread lies. He hurt the boy. Listen He's hurt uh, some other friends that are here. Talk. If Listen it was up to me right now, he'd be six feet under. But that's just what me. he wants. At first, I didn't recognize Vinny. But as time went by, and his loud ass fucking mouth kept yapping, I started to remember him from previous deals we've done in the past. And what can I say? I needed some more soldados. So I was gonna try to get him out of this shit since he's from back home. All right, Tony, you got the floor. This man has proven himself to be a royal A fucking uh, chooch. That's quite fucking obvious. He's been acting like a goddamn oh, idiot. God. Going around, doing some stupid fucking shit, stupid decisions. But the problem is with this man is that he's just not properly educated for these times. These hard fucking times. But you say you know me, and that makes me feel close to home. So for that reason, I'm gonna sympathize with you. Even though you've been going around and kind of throwing my name here and there and making, uh, almost making me look like a fucking idiot, just like you. I could take you in, I could help you. You gotta fucking change, but the thing is here, ladies and gentlemen, if he has personal beef, if he has done something to you, I don't care. You do what you need to do to him. He deserves the punishment, so it's up to you. But if you don't, I will still take him in. I will make sure this man gets reformed. I will make sure this man does not go around robbing people, tying him up, hurting people for absolutely fucking nothing. I don't know if you remember or not, but uh, as I said, I was part of the Colombo crew, the Colombo family back in, uh, you know, Brooklyn. Well, not just Brooklyn, you know, we ran New York. Uh, we did a lot of business with your family as well, and I don't know if you remember me uh, from back when, but we did a couple weapons deals together, and I met you quite a few times. That's why I said I knew you, and uh, we kind of grew up in the same neighborhood, so uh, that's the only reason I was saying that I uh, knew you, you know what I mean? I didn't mean any disrespect. Hey, I'm from Brooklyn. We're both Italian. You know what I mean? Keskeske, hola. But anyways, those fucking stupid putana vafanculos the atos that I was with, they were fucking with me. And uh, they tied a guy up over here, which was a mistake. I could have stopped it. You're right. You're absolutely right. But uh, what was I to do? They probably would have shot me too. But I didn't rob anybody. I never, I earned everything I have. Listen, Vinny, Vinny, whatever happened, whatever you boys did, it all reflects on you. You understand? If you do something stupid with me, it reflects yeah. on me. I'm gonna fucking kill you if you do something like that. I kept trying to convince people around me to let this guy go. He's a fucking idiot who made a mistake. And for that, he did need punishment. But not every punishment needs to be physical pain. It's nice to hurt somebody's ego once in a while, too. I want you to kiss the boots of the boy since you tied him up. 
Uh, I, I didn't, sir, I didn't tie him up. It I, uh, doesn't matter. No, I, you did. I, I was you you continue to lie. Listen, I don't listen, give a fuck how listen, apologetic hold on, you are. Hold on, hold I've on. seen personally hold put on. the bullet in you, you understand me? You got this man very yeah, mad, Vinny. Hey, you better kiss this boy's hey, shoes. And just shut up and accept it. This is, this is what I'm saying. This is what hasn't gone through your thick fucking skull. Your boy's actions are yours as well. Bada bing. Yeah, yeah right, Scotty. Hey, is it is this really necessary? Alright, okay. Mwah. <laughs> hey, give my punch to the dog. Now, I got a new soldado. Guys like him understand loyalty and respect probably more than the guys I currently have. Nonetheless, it was time to get back home after a long fucking day. And wouldn't you know, some guy called Anthony Trey was just lurking about our town. So I thought I'd talk with him. Perhaps you're looking for some work to keep you busy and entertained. You look like a man who needs something like that. Well, as long as it's entertaining, I'm your man. So you understand that we're a mafia, yada 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 fucking yada. So basically, we do the dirty work. Hey, some people come to us, they ask us for some uh, favors, and everything costs a price. Yeah, we trade weapons, you know, ammunition, drugs, whatever. We don't act right away. We're not one of those people out there that just instantly pops the fucking gun out and points it right into somebody's face. You understand me? That's not how we do things. We don't rob people. You know, we wake up every morning, we got a fucking reason to live. We got, we got something to do. And if you want to be part of something like that, maybe you end up becoming a soldado. You'll be uh, doing more than enough jobs to keep you busy and entertained. Well, and I need to figure out that you're not some kumbaya pushover. Because I've seen plenty of those, and I don't need to be a part of uh, some sort of happy-go-lucky, hold-each-other's-hands sort of racketeering group. The first thing that you're going to have to understand is, is that you cannot talk to me like that. You can't fucking disrespect me, okay? Uh, no, no kumbaya fucking shit, eh? That's not me. Well, then fucking prove it! By what? You want me to slap you? That'll show me that you get some gusto. I like him. I like him a lot. Ooh. He's got fucking balls. Hey, he is. Uh, uh, is. You Shit. feeling better? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling great. At least I know you're not a kumbaya hugger. Yeah, well, there's none of that fucking like shit around here. It was fucking crazy how many men were working for me now. And contrary to what Lucifer thinks, I respect each and every one of them. So soon, I was gonna make some made men. But first, the doc needed to check up on me. Make sure I was okay. Does this hurt? A little bit. Seems to be a bit swollen. You've been coughing a lot, huh? Yeah, you noticed that. <laughs> it's just, it's uncontrollable, you know? I just, sometimes it just happens, you know? And I can't, uh, can't stop it. it kind of hurts too and to be honest doc I've had this this blood come out when I've been coughing sometimes ah, Tony I got something to tell you and I'm uh, I'm 80 percent sure what I'm about to tell you is true I think you might have lung cancer what I wasn't a hundred percent sure that when we checked you out the first time I look possible but I thought it might have been just bruised most likely that, or some other disease. Definitely signs of lung cancer, that's, that's damn sure. Not sure how far along you got, but... Uh, yeah, it's probably no more than three to six months. It's that long now. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, 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 no,